Question 20. Sodium is added to water to form solution Y. The pH of solution Y is measured. Mm, we know that when the sodium uh, is react with water, it will form sodium hydroxide and H2 gas. So the pH of solution Y, it must be uh, quite high. So because it's alkaline solution, when the powdered substance X is added to solution Y, the pH falls. So this one is giving us the hints that the substance X is acidic because it can lower the pH of this alkaline solution. Which two compounds could each be the substance X? So let's check uh, which uh, pair or which uh, uh, compounds is now suitable. Magnesium chloride, we know that when this um, compound is dissolved in water, it will form a very uh, weak acid solution. Uh, it's about 6.5 pH. So therefore, this one is still possible, right? Because it's not really increased the pH of the, of the solution. It's slightly acidic. So for the aluminum hydroxide, so we know that this, uh, this aluminum hydroxide is uh, amphoteric, means it's able to react with the alkaline and the acid. So this is a characteristic. It's, it's quite close or similar to the aluminum oxide. Um, okay, give you one example. Um, when aluminum hydroxide is react with uh, alkaline solution, so it will form this uh, anion uh, we call tetrahydroxyl aluminate so therefore uh, this one is uh, uh, one of the way for this aluminum hydroxide react with alkaline at the same time the aluminum hydroxide it can react with acid let's say now we have uh, this uh, HCl solution so aluminum hydroxide will react with this uh, HCl to form the salt and water it is a normal neutralization. Um, so we know that uh, this uh, aluminum hydroxide is, um, is amphoteric, means it can react with the alkaline solution, uh, let's say solution Y. When the hydroxide in the solution Y reacts with the, this aluminum hydroxide, so the pH will get lower. So this one also is possible. Right. Okay, let's check the others. B. Magnesium chloride, I, just now I told you, is possible because it's formed pH 6.5. Um, potassium oxide, this one cannot because when the potassium oxide dissolve in water, it's formed potassium hydroxide. It uh, will not let the uh, pH uh, fall. Right. So B cannot. Sodium chloride cannot because it's always formed neutral solution after it's dissolved. Okay, this one is okay, it's possible, right? So uh, C also cannot be the answer because it say um, two compounds could each be substance X, right? Um, for D, uh, sodium chloride again, okay, it cannot be, and of course it cannot be this uh, potassium oxide as I told you just now. So answer therefore is A. That's all, thank you.